Hello, first graders. Today is Wednesday, January 13th, and I am bringing you another read aloud. It's kind of later in the afternoon, but I figured I'd still record, or record a video for you anyway. So today's story is called Crazy Hair Day by Barney Schultzberg. Crazy Hair Day. Stanley Birdbomb woke up early. Bald Eagle Elementary School was celebrating Crazy Hair Day, and Stanley couldn't wait. They had celebrated Pajama Day, Twin Day, and 60s Day. Stanley's favorite was Twin Day, because he and his best friend Larry wore, had worn exactly the same thing. Stanley was ready. He had rubber bands, he had styling gel, and he ha and had to make his hair perfect. Stanley had two cans of Halloween hairspray. Stanley's mother knew just what to do. She wrapped, she dipped, and she made his hair perfect. She sprayed Stanley's hair bright orange and blue. Ta-da, said Stanley. I am a work of art. You are going to be late if you don't hurry, said his mother. Look at his hair. Isn't that crazy? Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. I bet Larry and I will have the craziest hair in the whole school, Stanley thought. As he walked towards the classroom, he heard his teacher talking. And remember, Mrs. Winger said, crazy hair day is... Sorry, Mr. Winger. Mr. Winger said, crazy hair day is next Friday. Everybody stopped. Everybody felt scared. Oh, everybody stared. Stanley felt sick. Larry said, is that a hairdo or a hair don't? Everybody laughed. Stanley ran to the bathroom. Oh, he got the day mixed up. A few minutes later, Stanley heard someone come in. It's me, Larry. The Larry who just made fun of me in front of the whole class, asked Stanley. I was only teasing, said Larry. Some days you tease me too much, said Stanley. Mr. Winger said he wants me to try and be a peacemaker instead of a troublemaker, said Larry. I'm supposed to bring you back to class. I'm not going, said Stanley. If you stay in here, you'll miss being in the class picture, said Larry. I thought that was next Friday, said Stanley. Crazy hair day is next Friday, said Larry. Today is school picture day. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the top of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. Larry suggested that Stanley try washing his hair in the sink. It won't help, said Stanley. Halloween hair color lasts for days. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's only your hair, Larry told him. If you don't come out of here by the time math is over, I'm coming to get you. You can't stay in here all day. It was very quiet after Larry left, and Stanley wondered maybe he could spend all day in the bathroom. He ate his lunch, he drew pictures, he even timed himself to see how fast he could flush all the toilets. 32 and a half seconds, he shouted. A new world record by me, Stanley. Stanley had counted up to 121, 122, 123 drops of water from a leaky faucet when Larry came back in. Do you know how to count to 120? That would be super cool. Beep, time's up, let's go, Larry announced. Picture time. If I'm in it, I'll look like the class weirdo, said Stanley. Remember 60s day when Mr. Winger had the flu but came in anyway, said Larry. He said the day wouldn't be the same if we weren't all together. You'll have to come, I'll give you five minutes. Larry left and Stanley brought, thought about 60s day when Mr. Winger had taught them all those great old songs. He remembered how on pajama day everyone in his class had worn PJs and slippers. Then Stanley imagined what his class picture would look like without him. No, oh, he's missing from the picture. He decided to go back to class to keep from being nervous. Stanley made up a song. Crazy hair, crazy hair, how I wish it wasn't there. Stanley felt someone touch his shoulder. It, I was just coming to get you, said Larry. What if they laugh at me again, asked Stanley. Everything will be fine, Larry whispered. I promise. 
Stanley stood in front of his class. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair, gently tapped the top of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. Oh, look, everybody did something crazy with their hair. That's so sweet. The end. Awesome. Crazy hair day. I hope you enjoyed the read aloud. I'll see you tomorrow for another story. Bye, first graders.